sir. Are you ready to party at Decoded? Speakers are stacked for events all around the globe. I'm going to be catching all the action I can in Buenos Aires. Definitely looking forward to Chaos NBA the day after, and there are rumors afoot that Gavin Wood himself may be there. The Jet Setter on his way from Toronto, where he had this to say at Collision. I, I remember like back in the late 90s, early noughties, people were asking questions of like, well, okay, the internet's gonna revolutionize commerce, right? Does this mean that like the big, the big high street brands are gonna do most of their sales on the internet in the future? By and large, didn't move over to the internet, right? It was Amazon, it was an internet native company um, with an internet native attitude that was able to capitalize on this new technology. And I think it's realistically gonna be the same with Web3. And of course, all this flying around may soon feel a little better as Shell releases a sustainable aviation fuel pilot program with EnergyWeb as a partner. Or if you'd like to keep it local, check out Encointer's philosophy behind creating local currencies that can stand the test of time by getting together with others in person. Mangata getting close with Karura on the Rococo testnet, and who's this other channel going off to? Ah, good morning. Just look at those rays of sunshine. They also have some news coming out about a hackathon to toy around with their SDK. The Zeitgeist TGE has come and gone with the TTE on the horizon. You can check out your Z-Bucks with this link below. Some socials been under the radar lately, showing off its tipping feature and accounts of interest on sub ID, but mostly banging out some better tokenomics. Nodal thinking decades, five years in, this network handoff to a DAO is going to be one of the storied spaces to watch over the next several years. Our crowd loan dot now has a place on Parallel's money market as Para sneaks over to Moonbeam. The Basilisk Council gets stuffed with chads, and Darwinia has a spiffy new website hearkening to the Kusama page and focused on their light client messaging protocol. I think it looks pretty good. We can also now mess with their tokens on sub wallet, and big wallet news coming from Talisman triple six strong as the EVM prophecy comes true. I got a chance to talk with Nipsey, their head of technology on Space Monkeys about it, releasing this Sunday. Okay, so when do you think it's gonna be in the hands of users? Uh, I think it's gonna be in the hands of users now. Version 1.5.0 of Talisman was kind of released live on the web store on the 22nd of June. Great, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> this is what this podcast is for. He also dropped some alpha on these Identicon replacing talisman orbs you won't want to miss. And it looks like we'll soon be able to use it to purchase Sky Breach land plots just as the beta versions of Remark's palette and EVM implementations are coming online. Neon Crisis, of course, on the cutting edge of those contracts, and we get some huge alpha on Cypher Mod in this new substack released by Bruno, and oh my god, is that an unreleased draft? Didi, turn on the blur! But what I can tell you about what I saw in this leaked document is that there will be a token called Mod, receivable as payment by both Remark and Fala for metaverse building services, as well as to incentivize community auditing, voting for verified mods listed on the Cypher Mod marketplace, and fueling an anticipated explosion of DAO activity in the ecosystem. It will not clash with Remark, and I feel like I've already told you too much already. Just make sure you subscribe to this newsletter at the link below so you you can be the first to read all about it. Skybridge seems to be everywhere these days, with quite a bit of land already scooped up. They're giving away some if you complete the tasks on this Gleam-ish campaign, and there is some great analysis from Mario, creator of the Daily Remark recap threads, and the FVK, who also has a couple pieces on Sky Breach quests, all linked below. And somehow Subsquid is implicated in this sudden influx of immortal chunkies. There's no way to know how how deep the rabbit hole goes. Mushroomtopia original artwork is still rolling out with the Forest Kingdom dropping in just over a week. And check this out. <laughs> Donnie's Rug of Duty 3D Shoot'em game, getting a little preview, actually built on the same tech as the Kusamaverse, if I understand correctly. They only have one more community pass to remark before launch. 
Hollister requesting people DM him directly for processing. And it looks like the team is up to something with the Rugged Moon Ninjas NFT project, with Donnie asking people to send them over for a brief window of time. But such rugging could be a thing of the past now that Mbu has secured its slot on Kusama. Anonymous Parathread 2122 now running a solo race for the final slot, but Amplitude and Tinkernet lining up for the next batch, and the latter announcing integrations with Subsquid and some tokenomic updates to match the health of this market. Good Morning or Die opened their Discord for a hot second while they raised funds to register their Parathread, and new projects are always in the works. But sir, I want to play you out this week with a summer track by Farum. I'll see you in BA, or share as much as I can with you all. Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>